Quick recording, because I'm on the fish. All right, I've been hitting them. Let me just get my feeder rod out, rod out. In this little spot, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, why can't I put that down? Show you my um, keeping that in a second. Hitting them like crazy here. Caught some big fish too. You know, for this level. Right in this spot, which is actually right by. Oh, did I buy the map? I didn't buy the map. Damn it. Okay, I'm still on Mosquito Lake, but there's um, a campsite on Mosquito Lake, and it's right there. Look at this, I'm hitting them all the time. Uh, there's a campsite right there, and just off of there, you'll see this spot here, which has got a couple of logs here, and there's a campfire just kind of behind me to the right of the screen as you look at it. Listen to that. Hitting the feeder rod, hitting this. I pulled in. I pulled in a 1.45 or so carp, gibble carp, and the weekly world record is 1.9. And I pulled it in on this telescope rod, and this is the beginner rod. <laughs> so that was a real fight. I thought I was going to break the rod, um, but I was patient with it. I managed to actually pull it in. Normally, I lose that kind of fish. But yeah, this is uh, this spot is good today. Decent sized fish. Yeah, I'll turn around after this one before I bring in the feeder to show you. Decent sized fish, right there. Okay, so this is where I am. Let's uh, grab this feeder rod. This one looks like it might be decent. Another decent fish. You know, this one's not massive, but they're all good. A lot of crucian carp I'm getting off of the float rod right there. Compared to the other day when there's just nothing happening, this day has been completely different. I've been out here, I don't know, 15 minutes and I was thinking, should I record? I've got to get the land right now. It doesn't look that big. Why do I need the land in there for him? Come here. Um, I was thinking, should I record or not? That's not a great cast. See, I, gotta, I wanna try and get it, it's hard to see, but right off that grass on the end of the rod there, that's where I want it. That's where they've been hitting. Um, I was thinking, should I record or not? And then I thought, well, you know what, as soon as I record, they'll go, they'll stop. But they haven't, they're still hitting. So we'll see. I'll show you my keeper rod, keeping that right after this. This out. Get right on that log right there. The rain stone. I don't know if that's good for the fish or not. All right. So here's the keeper net. So do it by weight. Look at that. 1.42 gibble carp. A 1.1 roach. That's the biggest roach I've ever caught. A one kilogram carp. I mean, these are good fish. Look at all the green. That's good. I reckon there's 25 silver right there. 15 minutes. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a great day's fishing. It's a beautiful day on the lake, so it is. You never know though, right? Any moment now it might die. But right now, it's looking good. Haven't lost many either. You watch, guaranteed. As soon as I say that, I'll miss one. Come on. I really want to save up for, I'm kind of caught between, do I save up for the second feeder rod or do I buy that shovel? I know I said that I don't mind buying worms, but it's bugging me that I don't have worms, to be honest with you. And it's bugging me that I need to buy worms. There we go. Um, so I'm caught, I don't know, I'm caught between the two ideas. I still think the feeder rod's a better idea, even though that reel is going to cost me a lot because I don't want to get... A th another three kilogram reel. If I'm going to get another feeder rod, I want to get a decent reel to go with it. You know, I want to get the five, the five kilogram rod, the five kilogram reel, and then I can ups upgrade my line a little bit. I can upgrade my uh, hook a little bit. I can get a slightly better sinker. And actually, just start getting slightly better fish. Look how many much they're buying. That one point four kilogram. I was getting that 
the line over that way was red line all the way to the end for most of the fight. And because you're float fishing, you know, there's no real, there's not much you can do. You just have to kind of back it off into the water. I was walking right up to the edge. As soon as it kind of died down a bit, I was backing away to give myself a little bit of room and I was pushing in. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I missed one. Um, I really love to catch a frog, actually, but I don't know how you do it. I'm not sure what the bait is or <clears throat> whether it's a particular type of rod. It might be a level. Are you probably it's probably a skill as well. I think the one thing graphically, and go again. I think the one thing graphically they could maybe improve is um, rain on the water. I've noticed they're not doing anything with that. There's there's rain on the there's an effect on front of the screen, but there's no reflection on the water. They don't seem to disturb it at all. Although I haven't noticed that before, now that I think about it. So maybe they do and it's just the it's just too light. The rain's just, just drizzle. Come on. I think I have a skill point to sell to oh no, see I don't want that. I think I have a skill point to spend, so I'm actually gonna spend it right now. And what I want it on is I want it on casting this feeder rod, because I know where I want it and I'm not able to hit it, so I wanna put it using a spinning reel. Casting distance and accuracy, I think it's this one. Hopefully. We'll see, it's the last of my points. If it gets any closer, does it fuck? <laughs> okay, but at, at least it went in a better place. Went further though, definitely went further. There we go. Oh, this is my new spot. This is my new spot. I love it. It's a little bit closer than my other spots as well, so it's nicely come out of the out of the village and get in nice and quick. I've got a place I can make tea right behind me once I start buying that gear. Perfect. It's also, sorry to get gamey about it, but it's a little bit further away from the sound locators. In the other place I was at, there's a there's a sound entity <laughs> that, for, for the frogs. So it's literally right in your ear and it's annoying as hell. In the middle of the night. This is a little bit further away, so it's more peaceful. I kind of want to sell up. I mean, there's not much point because I can't buy anything yet, but I want to show you how much it is and not make this video too long. And maybe after this, I'll do one more. When I get one more hit on the feeder, we'll go in and sell. We have a nice big cruise ship. Come on. There we go. The uh, that's the bell going. It does make me want to try out other fishing games. Actually, I don't. I've never played a fishing game before. It's my first one. And I want to play, I've read that planet fishing is good, but it's a bit more of a sport fishing game or an arcade fishing game. Okay. No, oh, she went too early. Um, but I think I'd like to try that. I think uh, yeah, this could be nice. Um, yeah, I want to try some now. I like the peaceful nature of it, I like that it's slow, you know, I like, uh, I watch YouTube videos while I'm playing, I'm doing other stuff, no stress, like an old man game. There we go, look at that beauty, beauty. 
good mechanics in this game as well. Apart from this, the, the, the whole net, <laughs> the size of the net coming out. The whole net mechanics a little weird. All right, let's go in a set up, shall we? Let's see if we've got any money here. I'm guessing, look at this keeper net. I'm guessing 28 silver. Might be being a bit brave there, a bit bold, but we'll see. We're on the drunk path. Isn't every path in Russia a drunk path? Ooh, controversial. Oh, no, you know what? Let's see if we've got anything that we can meet here. Honey Shiva, got one of those. How many do they want? Three. No. Crucian Carve, I've got some of those, but. Mm, Common Roach, I've got some of those. They want perch. I didn't. Rufi only got one. Did I get any common card? No. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice how much that sold for. No. Let's see. How much do I get for these? 35 silver. 57. Alright, so we're well on the way. Um, another rod is 37, I think. Or, yeah, about 37. The reel is 98, which sucks. But I could go buy that shovel right now if I wanted to. Start digging up some worms, or I could just go buy some worms. Anyway, we're gonna have to think about it. Um, do the same again. It's a great game again, Russian Fishing 4, it's free. Um, I would advise actually get it through Steam. Don't get it through their website, because the settings don't say. I'm gonna talk to them, I'm gonna send them a message on the forum, see if they have any plans to fix it. But if you get it through Steam, the settings do say. Every time I log on, <laughs> I have to reset my hotkeys, the audio, the chat settings, it's really annoying. So get it through Steam if you're gonna get it. It's a great game, download it, it's free. There's no reason not to play it. That's it, all right, happy fishing. All right, you nuggets. See you later, bye.